friends, Earl at thelogbook.com. We're back on the Atari 2600. My records indicate that we have yet to play Dark Cavern. I have not played it for one of the uh, ubiquitous YouTube videos that I do. And yeah, let's play some Dark Cavern because uh, when I was a much younger man, boy, did I spend a huge amount of time playing this game. Now in case you can't tell, this is basically the Atari version of the Intellivision game Night Stalker. Quite simplified, but especially graphically. But it, uh, well, it really lacks nothing as far as suspense. guessed. I'm dead. In case you haven't guessed, I'm dead. The object of the game clearly is to evade and eliminate as many of the killer enemy robots as you can as they... oh! As they change color they become more dangerous. Sometimes less dangerous, but not often. When you see the flashing gun up there, that is your opportunity to be dead. It's your opportunity, it's a whole new exciting opportunity to be dead. Because that's your next round of ammo, that flashing gun. And so... Oh, killing me, Smalls. Repeatedly killing me. Oh, nice. They shoot each other. Thanks for the, uh... Thanks for the helping hand there. So, uh... I was doing good on restocking on ammo... Not doing very good on the whole pesky staying alive thing. Let's try again. If the spider's touchy... They, uh, they freeze you for a moment. And you're completely helpless. If the lightning touches you, it robs you of ammo. So you are, I mean, you live or die by the next appearance of that flashing gun. live or die by your ability to fire a shot and then duck out of the way. Oh! Hi. Now that guy almost caught me hiding. victory there. Took him out. Took me out. I 
I really, I love Night Stalker in any form. Oh, it's a trap. Okay, uh, score-wise, kind of landed in the same, same territory. One thing I'm not really exploiting and probably should is staying alive. Uh, that's something I'm really not exploiting very well at all in this game. I'm a bit out of practice. <laughs> I bet he couldn't have shot that spider for me. Oh, crap. Oh, no, 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 no. Ugh. Really, spider? Really? sneak up behind them, but in when they advance to more uh, aggressive programming um, they can turn around and shoot you. Basically the indentation at the top of the robot Oh! Oh! I'm unarmed. Fantastic. Because I came in contact with the lightning. The indentation at the top of the robot tells you which way it's looking. So if you want to try to sneak up behind it or ambush it, that gives you a visual cue as to which way it's looking. No, no, oh. <sighs> Spider. Sweet. Okay, I did not expect to survive that encounter. And I didn't survive that. You can stay in your, uh, your spawning area for a little bit. And maybe that's where I should stay if I want to stay alive, because I'm not particularly good at staying alive once I get out of that cage.